What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. We have been seeing some leaked changes and features of One UI 7.0 which have been quite exciting. And in today's video, I'm bringing in some more information about some more leaked features and aesthetic changes on One UI 7. The first one is coming from Bennett Brunner Pro on X. He has shared a video clip of the One UI 7 home screen where you can see a brand new feature called Stacked Icons. You can see in this video, there are three icons which are stacked, the clock icon, the find icon and a note app icon and we can see the number of applications which are stacked you see there is plus two mentioned there and you can also see this beautiful looking animations on the stacked icons the moment you tap on it it expands with all those stacked icons and it swiftly gets back to its original position after a couple of seconds now this looks like an alternative option for creating an app folder when we open an app folder it covers the half of the screen or the entire screen instead if you stack these icons it just shows up right there on the home screen which look fantastic now this is a leaked video i'm not very sure this will be implemented on One UI 7. So let's take it with a pinch of salt, but I would love to see this feature on the One UI 7. The next leaked video is from the same Twitterati, the Bennett Brenner Pro. On another video, we can see there is something similar to Dynamic Island. We have got a tiny pill on the status bar, which will show you the ongoing function, like uh, it could be a music player, call, stopwatch, etc. And you can tap on it to expand it. You see in this video, there is a music player running in the background and uh, it is sitting right inside the tiny pill on the status bar. And the moment he taps on it, it expands, which look actually beautiful. This is actually useful because you don't have to expand or open the entire media player or whatever application you're playing that media on. You can just tap on this pill, expand it only on the top portion of the screen and use that application. Now, I would really love to see this particular option being at the bottom of the screen rather than on the top of the screen because if we are using the phone in one hand it will be very easy to expand these pills use the app and shrink it back into its original position at the bottom of the screen which makes a lot of sense but since we have status bar on the top we are getting all these options on the top but yeah i would love to see this at the bottom the next leaked image shows the blur and lock screen design you can see the clock here and you can also see a tiny widget there which has got this nice blur background on the lock screen. We can also see uh, some more leaked widgets here. These are the clock widgets which we have got leaked by Bennett Brenner Pro again. This one here, I'm not very sure whether these are the actual widgets or this is just a concept, but again, this is leaked by the same person. Next, there is another tweet by CID, which says one UI 7 battery changes color when the battery is low. You can see we have got this pill shaped battery icon on the top right corner on the status bar and the battery percentage is mentioned inside that pill, which is great. Earlier we had the battery percentage mentioned outside of the battery bar. And now we have got the percentage inside this spill and this is something which is available on the ios as well on ios you can see we have got the battery percentage inside the battery bar but on samsung instead of battery bar we have got a pill shaped design inside which we have got the percentage and the battery will change its color when the battery is low you can see it's in yellow right now with 31 percent and maybe if it goes beyond 10 percent it will turn into red i'm not very sure on ios it turns into red on the battery bar so maybe some similar implementation is going on here we've got some new looks for the timer widget you can see on the older version when you uh, start a timer and uh, go to the home screen a pill shaped widget will show up which shows us the uh, timer this is the older version and now with the newer version you can see we have got a transparent pill which has got a pause button on the right hand side next we have got another exciting leak here you can see we have got an all new lock screen design at the bottom we have got the uh, widget here you can see we've got the battery percentage and a battery bar and we also have some charging information right here at the bottom maybe we will get a couple of options for these widgets and on another screenshot you can see we have got a similar pill shaped uh, battery information bar at the bottom and we have got phone and camera icons which seems to be new icons here the last major leak we have got is a search bar on the application tray you can see this is the one device sub and app tray here and you can see the search bar has been moved from the top to the bottom which makes a lot of sense for sure and you can see another screenshot of the home screen here where the widgets have got the labels right below it and I feel this is really unnecessary. We don't need the labels for the widget like we have got on iPhones. The widgets are big and bold. And when we see the widget, we know what exactly is that widget all about. So we don't really need a label, which doesn't look that great on the widgets. Let me know what do you think about that. Now, these are some of the leaked features and changes of uh, One UI 7.0 we have got. The first One UI 7.0 beta is expected to hit uh, the market 
markets like China, Germany, India, Poland, Republic of Korea, the United Kingdom and the United States and this may happen this month the August 2024. As soon as we get the first beta, I will come up with some videos and show you guys the latest new features and changes so stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye bye.